1998 was by far the best season in Vikings history. The problem is, most of us Vikings fans, if not all of them, look back on that season with disappointment. They won 15 games. They had, at that point, the highest scoring offense in NFL history. And we had a front row seat to the coming out party of perhaps the most unguardable offensive weapon the league has ever seen. But Vikings fans don't look back at that season and smile. In fact, we look back with disappointment because of what didn't happen at the end of the year. And honestly, I don't think we really enjoyed the season itself. All of the winning, all of the touchdowns, all of the fireworks. We didn't really enjoy it as much as we should have because we were looking for the Super Bowl. They were the best team in the league. There was no stopping us. So we were constantly looking down the road at that Super Bowl, at that Super Bowl. Well, it never came. I'm not going to talk about the end of that season because honestly, I don't feel like crying in front of you guys right now. But they didn't get that Super Bowl. And what a waste that we didn't get to enjoy that season because um, even though it ended in disappointment, there was a, a really fun regular season that we could have enjoyed. And, and, I, and I thought about that. And from then on, I made a, a specific effort to enjoy Viking seasons, to not get so caught up in what might happen or like most Vikings fans, what probably won't happen, right? Because that's the conversation when we start winning around here is everybody's like, yeah, well, we're not gonna win a Super Bowl. We're gonna blow it in the playoffs anyways. But I just decided, I determined that I'm not gonna do that. So when Brett Favre came to town and they had that incredible run in 09, uh, I just enjoyed it. I enjoyed every minute. And yeah, that loss to the Saints was super depressing, especially with how they lost. I'm not gonna go into that. Um, but I enjoyed the season and I can still look back at that year with fond memories and I still got my Brett Favre jersey. Same thing in 2017 with Case Keenum and the Minneapolis Miracle. That was fun. I enjoyed the ride. I, I Obviously, <laughs> you started to look ahead and we wanted that home Super Bowl, but, but it doesn't always work out like that. And you can't be so focused on what might happen in the future that you don't enjoy right now. Uh, this is going to be a common theme if you talk to me in person. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this a lot because my wife talks to me about this a lot. This is something I need to work on. But but really, I, I've kind of figured it out in football and in sports. Uh, when you're a Minnesota sports fan, you got to just enjoy the season because uh, it's probably not going to end in a championship. Uh, you're probably going to be disappointed at the end of the year. Uh, and you can't, good or bad, you can't look for uh, what might happen down the road. And you can't get rush through the regular season to get to that championship and you can't you know if you're only looking for a championship if you only celebrate when you win a championship man we don't get to celebrate much here right unless you're a lynx fan you haven't got to celebrate in the last wow, 30 years now uh was when we last wow it's a little depressing i shouldn't have brought that up um it's been a long time since we've won a, a championship other than the Lynx. so unless you're a lynx fan um you haven't had much to celebrate but if you can enjoy the regular season and enjoy the wins right as a wolves fan i gotta enjoy every win because they don't come very often it's easier to do in sports for me it's tough to do in life uh, i've been in good seasons and bad seasons and either way i'm looking to what's next right it's hard for me to enjoy the season that i'm in because i'm always looking for what's next if it's a bad season no question i'm looking at how to get out of it uh, and if it's a good season um, I'm either concerned at, at the end when it's going to fall apart uh, or I'm still looking for something more. And it's just it, this 98 Viking season is a good reminder for me to just enjoy the season, not worry so much about what might happen, um, but enjoy the season you're in right now. And if it's a if it's a good season, then just enjoy it. Have fun. Don't worry about what might happen when it ends. Um, if it ends, you don't know how long the season's going to last, so just enjoy it. If it's a tough season, if you're in a difficult season, which a lot of us uh, have been in uh, during 2020, don't try to just rush through it, but, but really stretch yourself and work to find the good and find the way to enjoy this season that you're in right now. Maybe, it, maybe all you have is the love of friends and family. Well, that's pretty good. And if you can lean into that and, and enjoy that and, and really get all you can out of that, you don't know how long these people are gonna be in your life for this season. You don't know if they're gonna move away. You don't know if they're gonna, you know, I had a lot of people, I lost a lot of people. We all did in 2020, um, but some close people. And so you don't know how long they'll be in your life. So so enjoy that, embrace that. Whatever you have and whatever the season is, I, I believe there's something that you can enjoy no matter what. So good season, bad season, enjoy this season. Next season will come at some point, but you're in this season right now. So don't worry about when it might end, how it might end, 
what's next, good or bad, find a way to enjoy this season right now. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, can you do three things for me? Can you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tell your friends.